Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Victoria 3. I'm Lord Formand. We're still here with the Hudson Bay tutorial. Let's play. So we finally hit the point where I'm pretty much letting our economy function on its own. Um, honestly, because it's doing a good enough job of building up. We're just sitting back, letting it work. Auto build. And... Uh, we're waiting till we can get away from that 13k debt, then we'll develop our colonies, and then probably stick barracks in them so we can build up our army to fight the US. It's finally hit uh, dry weather where I live, so I gotta keep drinking lots of water. So if you... If it ever comes across that I'm swallowing, that's why. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. We should turn off some of these edicts, as much as I like the greener grass campaigns. Um, you know what? Let's leave it on in Quebec, but everywhere else we'll take it down one. The other thing we need to think about soon is getting steel frame buildings. I'll probably do that once I finish uh, trench works. Oh, we're going to have synthetic synthetics dye, dye colors. Cool. So we'll probably do steel frame buildings, and then I think we have got to go for malaria prevention stuff. Try and get as much of Africa as we can. Okay, U.S. We're th over a third there, and we're over a third of their population. We're close to it. We're sitting right on the edge of going broke, but hopefully our new buildings we're throwing down will help. I'd really like a larger investment pool transfer, but I guess our people aren't rich enough yet. Got 30 months till we start taking on debt. Okay. Hopefully, our economic changes will prevent that. Any other laws? I really want to do public health insurance, but so many people are unhappy about that. Let's give it a try, because if we can, that will drastically boost our population growth. Right now, it only reduces mortality um, for people who are uh, have money. They pay 12% more, 14, 12%. Okay. We've got a lot of building to do. Be nice if there was a way to prioritize what your buildings build, because it would be nice to get some more farms and stuff going. Suppose I could just auto direct it, right? And both of these buildings are. Oh, this one's losing money now. It was making money for a while. I guess let's build vineyards, get some wine. Not the biggest fan of that one, but... Are we taking debt yet? No, nope, we got a little bit longer.
Anything we can export. Could export some tools, some fertilizer. We now have the trench infantry. Um, let's finish off Aniline. Get that done with. Revolution potentially there. Doesn't seem to be... Mm, The landholders have now joined. Unfortunate. I'm going to keep it going as long as we can. I think we might get one vote on the law prior to the revolt. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, um, steel frame. We were going to do steel frame, and then I was going to do something else, wasn't I? Completely forgot. Ah, malaria prevention, five years. Let's see if we can get at least one vote on the public health insurance. Prior to a revolution. Nope. Okay, cancel that. They should stop revolting now. I hope. Yeah. Okay. We're losing money. Let's pause construction after this glasswork is built, get some cash, and then we'll start building again. You really want to avoid interest. Interest is very severe for minor nations. If you can. One a week, wow. So slow. Let's see how our military is doing. If we upgrade, we lose 4k, but our combat stats rise massively. And let's get field hospitals <coughs> and industrial ports and steel passenger carriages. Okay. Mutually beneficial for the industrialists and stuff. Okay. It is time to swap to barbed wire fences first off. And then rail transport everywhere else. Now this is going to cause problems. Places. But this is, if we can get past this hump here. Get some more railroads down. We should see a huge boom in our industry and stuff. Steamships. Okay, let's see how crazy those changes are. Got a reserve, so I'm going to unpause for a few months. See if we can get some tech done. Slow progress. We lose 30 a month. <sighs> Sadly, some stuff like our steel mills aren't doing so great. But that's because the great British are producing it everywhere. Interesting, the sulfur mines are doing well. I guess everyone's buying sulfur. There we go. Spike in our GDP. Not quite half of the U.S., but it is growing. 
<laughs> no migration lately. That's leveled off. Oh, we're in debt again. You know what? Um, let's turn off some edicts and get a tax going. Just so that we can industrialize a little bit faster here. Services. That should help quite a bit. Pause this for a week or two. Get out of debt, and then we'll start it up again. People are obviously, there's going to be a growth and unhappiness because now I'm taxing more stuff, but our military should be considered really good on the world stage. Technically, we could start plays against other people in the world, see how strong it is, but outside of conquering some oil lands or opium lands, which is not a lot that we could conquer. Uh, although theoretically we could try and invade the Chinese they're still on peasant levies meaning our troops are immensely superior although apparently the US is already invading them for Korea huh. I've already got a treaty port should we invade China or should we work on the US first probably the US be nice if you could tell what their tech level is easily. They're basically almost the same as us. Fifth in the world or tenth in the world. Okay, we got some old reserves, but now we're losing... Oh, I must have resumed it. For some reason, I thought it was still paused. Oops. Oh well, it's fine. At some point, I need to integrate this population. Try that. Start integrating them. 800,000 pops. That'll be some nice money. Get a government admin building going there at some point. Actually, you know what? For the short term, we'll do a textile mill. Obviously, there's not the biggest advantages because we got to incorporate it, but... Actually, I shouldn't build that. Ah, oh, well, whatever. It's not the end of the world. You don't get the uh, tax on the goods because they're not fully integrated. The pops who are working because they're not integrated yet. Although it does tick up over time. Okay, let's... We're still dealing with debt. Okay. The expense of constructing and military goods... We could try turning off field hospitals to wound dressing to save cash. I think that's what I'll do for now. Less buying of opium, basically. Okay. We're still building there. I'm going to take a quick detour, get three more universities. <clears throat> Oh, nice prestige gain. The most we could do would be catch up to Italy. What's the US? How are they doing? Rivalry with Spain, trade agreements with Britain and France. So at best we might be able to pull Spain into helping. 
France and Spain are unlikely to help. Russia is hostile towards me. I could take on the debt of Portugal if I wanted to, which wouldn't help. Improve relations with Prussia. I doubt they have any interests in our area, but you never know. Okay. With these universities, that should be a huge boost to our tech level gain. Uh, once it fully processes. We might even want to build more. Yeah, I think I'm going to build some more universities. And most importantly, we're going to build some ports to solve some of these isolation problems. Anything that does not have a port is getting a port. Oh, I can just do it from here. Uh, one port, please. Pause. There we go. We're starting to hit the point of the game where it is slow. Okay, that should... No, it'll take a while to build, but it'll help. Anything we could export? Sulfur? No. Cloth? No. No. Steel? Yes. Fruit? Technically, yes. I'd like to get my steel industry working again. I mean, the goal is to break out, retake all of Canada, at least from the US, and then get independence from Britain. But with the 505 battalions versus our rather sad 65, unlikely to happen. We could form an alliance with Mexico. So that would help a little bit. Eight battalions plus 65 versus the US. I don't have high hopes of our winning here. They're doing really well this game. Uh, we are going to change construction to steel frame buildings and crash our economy because why not? Why not crash our economy, right? It's more the gain, the massive boost of construction. It adds another 70 construction. Much better than building other stuff. Glass works are now particularly valuable, so we'll work on that as well. Okay, what else do we need to do? Um, at some point, I need to get those all, all this going. Bananas, dye, sugar for sure. I'll worry about everything else later. Colonies. Two new colonies. Indonesia in particular. South Island has four gold mines we are not currently using. Let's drastically correct that. When in doubt, gold mines. The way of the world, right? Gold doesn't go out of style. Or hasn't during this time frame. Forty K a month. We're literally just getting sunk by having to pay Great Britain money. <sighs> Gold mines should help once we finish them a bit. Well, we gotta at least push on, even if we take interest, just to complete the gold mines. Steel port also will help.
Once the gold mines are done, though, I think we'll pause. Actually, let's go to the glassworks done, I should say, because glasswork, was a, we have a shortage on it. There we go. Get out of debt. Hopefully the minting will increase. Yep. As those lovely gold mines in South Island come into play. We're still going to need a lot more railroads. <sighs> We're not having a railroad shortage right now, but at some point we will to deal with that. Okay, building up some cash. I'd say I should give it like two, three more months before we start building again. Those stupid diplomatic packs are just killing my economy. Wish there was a way to negotiate the money you send back to Great Britain. I can see why people wanted to leave the British Empire. You had to send more than what's keeping to upkeep my government to Britain for some reason. Although theoretically, if I get large enough and then I quit Great Britain, they're going to see a huge GDP drop as I'm no longer funding their economy. That would be funny to crash the British because you revolt. Oh, we could do it, so. Okay. I think we're good now. Obviously, we're going to increase our um, expenses, but we're going to get those universities going. It's taken us a long time to get the universities up and running. Considering where we started, come a long way in a short 50 game years. I don't think there's any other specific Hudson Bay, Canada stuff we need to worry about. So we're about to hit the race, the scramble for Africa. Okay. Africa. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to get a little bit tricky. So, other things to do prior to that. Get our industry upkeep of... Start building power plants here. Because we're going to need those soon. Establish... Well, declare interests around the world more. We got all our colonies going. On the other hand, malaria still be still is affecting it. Let's give it another couple days. So we've got the bug going right now where malaria is still affecting us. So what we're gonna redo is we're going to go forward another time, hit an auto save. Then we're simply gonna reload the game. That should get rid of the malaria problem. I hope. It's worked before. I hate for it to not work here. Okay, let's see. Has that solved the malaria issue? It has. Okay. Time to try and colonize Africa as fast as possible. It's also solved the malaria problem for all our rivals for colonizing.
A lot of railroad building going on all of a sudden. Transportation is expensive. Probably should stop building, to be honest. Because we're in debt. We're quite a bit in debt, actually. I'll give it one more finish here. Once this lump is done, so a handful more weeks, I guess. Yeah, we're not going to be nice to the colonies. Unfortunately, we're all about exploiting them. <sighs> Subsidies aren't too big of an issue, so it's literally just the construction. Okay. Five weeks, four weeks. I don't think we've completed any other industrial alterations lately. Oh, we have electric fences. Not that I want to use that. Ah, here we go. Covered markets. That'll help a little bit. Photographic art. Okay. Native uprising against these guys. Sure. War has broken out. Okay. Raise a general. Ten troops. That should be more than enough. Mobilize. Deploy there. Halt the building. So that we not further into debt. And then we'll win this war and hopefully gain all this land. Cool. Now the question is... My only ally was Mexico. The British seem to think I'm going to stay loyal to them even though they've stopped helping me invade other countries or not protecting me against native uprisings. So let's see how fast these are going to go once our troops arrive. 24 days. I suspect our troops will annihilate them. But actually, you know what? That is going to be it for this one. Because... We are going to stop here. We've exceeded the time. So, I will see you guys all next time. And we will deal with these two little wars we've gotten into. Bye for now.